Hello friend good morning and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you will be fine there this is your host khan baba god will give you more happiness and long life i try to my level best to give you latest update about iraqi dina so please like and share my video with your friend and family which will help me for supporting and now let's start the today information but things are very positive Iraq is now in a security and stability and debt-free state and now they're going into a state of expansion on their economic reforms, development programs, sustainable development, all of the things we've been talking to you about are coming to fruition. They're not going to do that at 1310. After 21 years of the dollar auction, Iraq is close to closing the window amid reassurances and warnings. This is so powerful. An economic expert indicates a solution that will reduce the dollar exchange rate. The parallel market needs to be dismantled in order for the exchange rate to decrease. They have been educating the Iraqi citizens all year on what the monetary reform mechanism is about to do to their currency. It's going to add purchasing power to their currency. This time around with the United States Treasury there they're paying close attention that they will add the purchasing power to the citizens of Iraq they're telling them in the coming days which simply means now quickly inflation is the money supply versus how the market is reacting that's all it is it's the money supply and how is it working with the people that are spending it do they have access to it Is it not moving? Is there not enough money? Is there too much money? It's always going to be the money supply. A lax upcoming visit to New York supports banking system stability. People ask me why isn't he going to Washington? What's in New York? New York is part of the United States banking system, United States Federal Reserve Bank is in New York. Where is the account for Iraq's oil money? It's not in Washington DC, it's not at the White House. It's definitely in New York, isn't it? Iraq and America to resume negotiations on the banking sector next Monday. A lax visit is on Iraqi banks. Iraqi banks only care about a new exchange rate. Just informed that lower denims are being released to the streets right now. It's on the way. They're making nothing but money off their oil, but they're also making nothing but money off the non-oil revenue streams. Now it's a totally different ball game. Back in the old days, Iraq's valuation of three dollars and twenty-two cents was based off oil. It wasn't on phosphates, sulfur, liquid, natural gas, tax revenues, tourism. None of those. Add all that in now into the exchange rate gives some support, doesn't it? You start thinking about it. Wait a second. So why would you come back out at three dollars and twenty-two cents again? Good question. Will they? Don't know. Is it likely they will? I don't know. Why would it be any less than that? It looks like our start for notification and exchanges could start over the weekend. It could defer to Tuesday, with exchanges starting either Tuesday or Wednesday. That's very possible. That the government is demanding guarantees for non-substituent currency back to the markets. This means the reinstatement back to the forex trading markets. The CBI wants guarantees that once they begin the process of the project to delete the zeros. It will go all the way to the reinstatement. So is this not what my CBI contact also told us? Thank you for watching. God bless you and take care.